Okay, today we're going to make a, a muffalata spread, which is, a, which is an olive spread to go on a classic New Orleans salad, actually uh, made first by a guy from Sicily, allegedly, uh, Salvatore Lupo at Central Grocery in New Orleans in 1905. So how long is that? That's 115 years ago, give or take, supposedly invented this sandwich, which is three meats, cheese, and a tangy, zesty olive spread. Now, I don't know if it's actually true that Signore Lupo made this. Up here in Plattsburgh, right around the corner from the MHAD campus here, we have, uh, we've got another kind of contested, contested local delicacy. We've got, we have a thing called a Michigan. Don't ask me why, I can't tell you. But uh, depends on who you ask who started it. Either one, one, one hot dog guy or another 100 years ago start, or 50 years ago started the Michigan. We don't know who it is, but it's a great thing. Same thing with the muffaletta. We're not quite sure who started it. It depends on who you ask, but it's a great sandwich. You can see I already chopped up some carrots to make the, to make the muffaletta dressing and make that a nice fine dice. Not a, not a mince, not a chop, but a nice fine dice. And I'm going to add celery. And you can see in the bowls I've got spread around me, we're going to put in some chopped olives, some paprika, capers, red peppers, salt and pepper, a little garlic, and a little shallot, olive oil, and just a touch of red wine vinegar. Now, we're making these sandwiches tomorrow in the store uh, for MHAB Fresh. And this is one of those things that's better when it sits because the flavors will get a chance to all work together with each other and meld together. It's like lasagna. I always think lasagna is better the next day. Sometimes even the next week. So I've got carrots and celery. I'm going to mince up a shallot. You could use or you could substitute a red onion for this. You know, probably was red onion to begin with, but I like shallot. It's got a kind of a nutty flavor to it, which is a good addition. And I'm going to try to make these things roughly the same, roughly the same size, just so it's it kind of it makes it a little more even on the on the bread when you go to spread. Looks a little better. I don't know. Maybe it's just a little OCD. Can't tell you. But I'm going to try to make things a little bit the same size. Carrots, celery, shallot. Can't do anything without garlic. Most of you probably know this, but just as a just as a little tip, if you got the cloves of garlic and you break them under the flat of the knife, it allows the the paper skin to break off much more easily. See that just comes off nice and easily when you smack that with a knife. Well, you don't really want to smack it because you'll send it flying. I've done that. Chop the garlic up. I'm going to mince the garlic a little. Because garlic can be so pungent, I'm going to make it a little smaller just because I don't want people to get that great big bite of garlic. I love it. Some people think garlic is a little bit much and like to keep it a little more under control. So, olives, the main ingredient in muffaletta. These are just store-bought, canned Spanish olives with pimento centers. These happen to be pre-sliced, not a problem, because we're going to chop them up anyway. This is a, about a six-ounce jar of olives, and just in terms of proportions, I'm not a big one on specific proportions, but this is six ounces of olives, and I probably used an ounce and a half or two ounces, so call that a quarter or a third of the same volume of the onion or shallot, carrot and celery, and a couple of cloves of garlic, and then capers. And capers, about the same, same volume of capers as, as the uh, onion or the, or the carrot, maybe a little less. So the proportions are more important than the actual measurements. Capers are already pretty small, so I'm not going to chop them too aggressively. Okay, to get some of that juice in there, that, that uh, brine that the capers come in, 
gives it a little extra tang. Capers do that. They, they're kind of a tangy, salty thing. They're more a flavor thing than a texture thing. So anyway, you can see you've got a nice, nice kind of even mix to spread out. And I'm going to add to that our seasoning now. And in goes paprika, crushed red pepper. You when you're doing something like this, you can put more seasoning in than you think. One of the reason, things to remember is, think about Worcestershire sauce. I mean, Worcestershire sauce is so salty, you couldn't dream of, of drinking Worcestershire sauce because it's so salty and so pungent. But as an ingredient, that gets dispersed among what, whatever it's going in. So it's okay to put a bunch of Worcestershire sauce in something. So I've got paprika, salt and pepper, crushed red pepper, mm, third to a half a cup of olive oil, quarter cup of, of red wine vinegar, and I'm going to mix that in, and this is as simple as it gets. And that, my friends, is ready to go on nice, soft Italian bread with three meats and cheeses to make the classic New Orleans salad with Sicilian origins, muffaletta. Here we go. Okay, so we've got our muffaletta sauce. And, you know, one of the things we try to focus on here at MHAB is simplicity and things that taste really good. This is a dynamite sandwich, but it is so simple. We did far and away the most complicated stuff earlier in making the, making the spread. So all I'm doing is taking, you can see how nice and soft this is. Frankly, we buy this at the store. I don't bake this. I'm a lousy baker. Um, so anyway, take a nice, soft loaf of Italian bread. Typically, and actually there's some, there's some conversation about the word muffaletta, and it might come from a Sicilian dialect word for mushroom, because this is often made on a round sesame-coated loaf that, uh, that would then get cut into quarters. We're going to cut this crosswise after we get it done, so it's very, very simple. And it is so delicious. If you want to impress people and have a great meal, this will do it. You know, you do this and a little salad and maybe a little soup. You know, this time of year, we go down to the orchard, we get some nice fresh cider. It's a great meal. And it has become, quickly become, we haven't been making this very long here at MHAB Fresh. Uh, it has become one of our most popular sandwiches in a hurry. So I spread the, liberally spread the muffaletta spread on the bread, and then just layer up the, the three different meats and the cheese. What we've got is a Genoa salami, a garlic bologna, actually made by a local uh, outfit up uh, just not very far from here, 40, 50 miles, called Glaziers. Um, that's their garlic bologna and smoked ham and nice, snappy, sharp provolone cheese. It's also a great word. I love it. Mufaletta. Sounds wonderful. And it is. And it's a really dense, robust, wonderful sandwich. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? Simon de Bene at, uh, at MHAB Fresh. That'll do, pig. That'll do.